Hi guys and uh, welcome to another video. In today's video lesson, we're going to be looking at Grade 11 Maths Analytical Geometry Past Exam Question, November 2017, Paper 2. The question reads as follows. It says, C, a point on the x-axis, A, minus 5 and minus 3, B, 4 and 12, are the vertices of a triangle. A, B intersects the x-axis at E, A, B, C is equal to theta, and B, E, C is equal to alpha. So first thing that we ought to do is make sure that all of the information that was given is on the diagram. And as we can see, all of the information is on the diagram. So let's go answer the first question. Calculate the gradient of AB. So we're going to now look at how can we calculate the gradient of a line? Well, there's two ways. Number one, if there's two points given, we can use the gradient formula, y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1 or if the angle of inclination is given we can use the formula m equals to tan of in this case alpha but since both points are given we're going to use the gradient formula where two points are given so let's go and work that out so for 4.1 we're going to write as follows gradient of a b equals to y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1 equals 2. So y2 will be 12 minus minus 3. 12 minus minus 3, what does that give you? 12 plus 3. And 4 minus minus 5 will give me 4 plus 5. So that will be 4 plus 5 equals to 12 plus 3 is 15. And 4 plus 5 is equal to 9. So we're left with 15 over 9. And if we simplify 15 over 9, 3 goes there. 5 times 3 goes into 9, 3 times. We could have used our calculator, but we could have also did this question as I did by inspection. 4.2. Determine the coordinates of E. Coordinates of E, let's look at that. Remember that they tell us that E is an x-intercept, which means that the y value is equal to zero. How can we find the coordinates of E? Well, we need to find the equation of this particular line AB. We already know that the gradient is equal to 5 over 3. And we just need to choose one point on the line and find the equation of the line in the form y equals to mx plus c. And once we got the equation of the line, because they told us E is an x-intercept, therefore we'll just make y equals to 0 and we'll solve for x. So let's go and do that. The point that I'm going to choose is b for 12. Let's write that down. So for 4.2, I'm going to say the gradient of that line is 5 over 3. The point that I'm going to choose or the coordinate that I'm going to choose is b for 12. b for 12. And I'm going to use the formula y minus y1 equals to m into x minus x1. Let's substitute and solve for our equation. Therefore, we say y minus, there's y1 there, which is 12, equals to m, my gradient is 5 over 3, into x minus, there's x1 here, which is 4. And let's simplify. Y will now equals to 5 over 3 times X is 5 over 3X. 5 over 3 times minus 4 is minus 20 over 3. And let's bring this minus 12 to the right hand side. It becomes positive 12. So for this one, because we're dealing with a fraction, we can use our calculator for this one, right? So therefore, this will be minus 20 over 3 plus 12 equals to 16 over 3. It's 5 over 3x plus 16 over 3. So the equation of my line is 5 over 3x plus 16 over 3. Now, remember what we said. They told us that E is an x-intercept. Therefore, coordinates of E as it is will be x and 0. Remember y is equal to 0. So we're going to substitute 0 into our equation. 0 equals to 5 over 3x 
plus 16 over here. We're going to solve for x now. So we're going to get minus 5 over 3x equals to 16 over 3. And once again, we can use our calculator to help us a bit here. So we can substitute. It's going to be 16 over 3 divided by minus 5 over 3 minus 5 over 3 equals to minus 16 over 5. So x equals to minus 16 over 5. Therefore, the coordinates of e will be minus 16 over 5 and 0. All right. So we have now got the coordinates of e. Then it's asking us in the next question here, determine the size of alpha, round off to the nearest whole number. So the size of alpha, round off to the nearest whole number. Alpha is, as you can see here, the angle of inclination. Just a revision or a quick review. Angle of inclination is the angle that is made with the positive x-axis and in an anti-clockwise direction. So remember that the zero degrees line starts from here, zero, and then we go to 90, and then we go to 180 degrees. So we can't have an angle of inclination, which is going to be greater than 180 degrees. We're just going to get our angle of inclination, which is going to be between 0 and 180 degrees, okay? So remember, if you've got an acute angle, or rather, if it's a positive gradient, you'll get an acute angle of inclination. If you've got an obtuse angle, you'll get a negative gradient, or I should have said a negative gradient will yield a an obtuse angle, okay? Negative gradient will yield an obtuse angle. Positive gradient will yield an acute angle. So I hope you got that. Now, so let's look at alpha. Alpha. So we already know the gradient of this line is 5 over 3. So we'll say, let's use our gradient formula. What's the other gradient formula that we need to know? M is equal to tan of theta. Therefore, theta equals to tan inverse of M. So what does this tell us? It tells us that if you know the angle of inclination, then you can find the gradient if you know the gradient you can find the angle of inclination all right so that's what we're going to do so alpha equals to in this case 4.3 4.3 alpha equals to tan inverse of 5 over 3 and as mentioned if you know the gradient of the line you can find the angle of inclination so let's put that in our calculator so we're going to say shift 10 and 5 over 3. And we say round it off to the nearest whole number. Let's go and double check that. Okay, so it'll be 59 degrees. So alpha is equal to 59 degrees. Okay, so we have that. So once again, let's write that down so alpha is equal to 59 degrees and the coordinates of e is minus 16 over 5 and 0 there okay let's just make sure there we go see minus 16 over 5 and 0 alpha is 59 degrees always get into the habit of updating your diagrams so the next question if theta is 76 degrees determine the equation of the line through a parallel to bc so they want us to find the equation of this line here, which is parallel to BC. Now, how can we do that? Well, if you look very carefully, we need to find the gradient of BC. Because if we can find the gradient of BC, it's going to equal to the gradient of the line that we are required to find. How can we find the gradient of BC? Well, if you look very carefully, they tell us if alpha is, if theta is equal to 76 degrees, so if theta is 76 degrees, now they're telling you that they want us to find the equation of the line through A parallel to BC. If you look very carefully, you'll be able to find this angle of inclination. Remember the exterior angle of the triangle equals to the sum of the interior opposite angles. So therefore this angle here is going to equal to 59 plus 76 degrees. Let's write that down to 59 plus 76 degrees and because it's rounded off you'll write 135 so that means this angle here is 135 degrees 
Now, because we know the angle of inclination, and as I've mentioned earlier on, if you've got an obtuse angle, it's going to give you a negative gradient, right? So let's check it out. And we'll use a gradient formula, m equals to tan of theta. Therefore, tan of 135 equals to minus 1. So therefore, the gradient of this line, m equals to minus 1. Remember, if two lines are parallel, the gradients are equal. So we've now got the gradient, which is negative 1. And you also have a point, which is a minus 5 and minus 3. So let's go construct our solution. So the first thing that we are going to write is, let's call this angle here beta. Okay, so we'll say beta equals to 4.4 so 4. I'm going to say in question 4.4, I'm going to say beta is really equals to, and I'm going to write 135 degrees, 135 degrees, and I'm going to write down exterior angle of triangle. Therefore, I'm going to say that the gradient equals to 10 of 135 degrees, gradient of BC, so I'm going to say the gradient of BC, which is equal to negative 1. Therefore, I'm going to say that the gradient of my line, which I want to find, is going to equal to minus 1. The reason for that is that the line is parallel to BC. Remember that if two lines are parallel, the gradients are equal. The next thing that I'm going to write down is the point minus 5 and minus 3, this point here, to find the equation of this particular line. So I'm going to write down A minus 5 and minus 3. And let's write down Y minus Y. 1 equals to M into X minus X1. And let's find the equation of this line. So it will be Y minus minus 3 is y plus 3 equals to minus 1 into x minus minus 5 is going to be plus 5 this is now going to be equals to y equals to let's open this brackets here so that's minus x minus 5 minus 3 remember i'm going to take this plus 3 to the right hand side which becomes minus 3 therefore the equation of my line will be minus x minus 8. So the equation of my line in conclusion is minus x minus 8. That is if you haven't subscribed already, subscribe to JL Maths. You can like my Facebook page, Justin Lazarus Mathematics. You can watch all videos on my website in order of the work schedule on jlmaths.com. And I'll catch you in the next video.